the Sukhoi Su-17 family represents a significant evolution in Soviet and Russian military aviation characterized by its versatility, adaptability, and combat effectiveness. Originally developed as a supersonic variable sweep wing fighter bomber, the Su-17 underwent several iterations and variants to meet the challenging requirements of the Soviet Air Force and later the Russian Federation. The Su-17 family's key feature is its variable sweep wing design, which allows for optimized performance across a wide range of flight regimes, including low altitude penetration, high speed intercepts, and precision strike missions. This flexibility made the Su-17 well suited for a variety of roles, including ground attack, interdiction, close air support, reconnaissance, and anti-ship operations. The Su-17M4 variant represents the pinnacle of this evolutionary process, incorporating numerous improvements in a Unix and weapon systems over its predecessors. These enhancements include upgraded radar and navigation systems, advanced electronic countermeasure suits, and improved weapons delivery capabilities. The aircraft was upgraded with RSDN navigation, Cleon 57 laser targeting system, SPO 15LE RWR system, the IT 23M optical targeting system for the TUBUS 3 seeker on the KH 29T missile, and the ability to use the BA 58 targeting system for anti radiation missiles. The only way to excellently distinguish the Su-17M4 over its predecessor, the Su-17M3, is by the presence of multiple extra bleed air intakes in the rear fuselage, the most noticeable one being at the base of the vertical stabilizer. The Su-17M4 was equipped with the AL-21F3 engine, and its export version was designated Su-22M4. The Su-17M4 differed from the M3 in the removal of the inlet cone system, which restricted the maximum allowable fly speed to Mach 1.75. The inlet cone housed the more powerful Cleon 54 laser range fighter. Compared to the Su 17M2, the Su 17M4 has a few new toys to play with. The Su 17M4 has access to two new types of rockets shared by the Su 25, as the S 25O heavy rocket, S 13OF high explosive rocket. Several new types of guided weapons are available. The KH-25ML is an improved extended range variant of the original KH-25 laser guided AGM. The KH-29T is the Su-17M4's most important precision weapon. It packs an enormous punch is fire and forget, and most importantly, has decent optics and tracking capabilities. Because the Su-17M4 still lacks a built-in TV camera or tracking system like the Su-25T or MiG-27K, it is incapable of using laser-guided weapons to their full potential. In terms of air-to-air -air armament, it is the addition of the R-60MK or Aspect IR missiles, which completely replaced the original R-60. Up to six can be carried, which is an impressive capacity for a fighter bomber. 
This expanded arsenal enables the Su-17M4 to effectively engage a diverse range of ground targets with precision and accuracy, making it a formidable asset on the mountain battlefield. Additionally, the Su-17M4 features improvements in survivability and mission endurance thanks to enhanced armor protection, redundant systems, and increased fuel capacity. These enhancements ensure the aircraft's resilience in high-threat environments and enable extended time on station for effective mission execution. The aircraft would first fly in 1980 and quickly enter service shortly after, supplementing the Su-17M3 fleet throughout the 1980s and early 1990s, when it was finally withdrawn from Russian service shortly after the dissolution of the USSR. Overall, the Sukhoi Su-17 family and its variants accumulating in the Su-17M4 represent a significant contribution to Soviet and Russian military aviation history with its advanced capabilities, adaptability, and combat performance. The Su-17M4 remains a potent asset for air forces around the world, capable of fulfilling a wide range of mission requirements with precision and efficiency.